Hello. So in this video, I'm going to first explain why this design right here, the one that I uh, praised so much earlier, um, actually sucks a lot and is really bad. Um, so first of all, just, just, just take a look at this. This is for one leg. Th this is huge. This is like 20 parts. We're going to have to make all of these parts. So that's, that's one right there. Um, also, look at this. Look, look, look at this walk cycle. This is this is crazy. This is like it, it touches the ground there, and it pulls up all the way over there, and it touches over there. Yeah, this this spot's gonna wobble unless I had some sort of a crazy suspension system that's you know probably gonna cost like forty dollars in springs and lots of extra components, and you know it just it might not work. So you know why not apply Occam's razor? That is a biology term. Um, you bio folks will get that, but uh, basically it's just simplify the robot as much as possible, use as little moving parts as possible, try to make everything a passive system, it will be easier to fix. So, oh yeah, and what uh, one other thing is that um, right over here, as you can see, these little dots represent position per time. So as time moves on, this is the position of where the leg would be, and position per time really slows down over here, and that's a problem because while the other leg's over here pushing, you know, pretty fast, as you can see the position per time is pretty big here, um, and this one here is pretty slow. So we'd have a push and pull between the legs, and I was kind of looking at it, and Sometimes one would win, sometimes the other would win. The robot wouldn't really move very much. Um, so, the better version of, of this is dun -dun -dun, right here. Loading. Here we go. All right. Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit. Okay. So, this probably looks super confusing and complicated. And first, you're wondering, what is that? Um, but, like I said previously, it's actually just the the position per time of the legs, which are now these things. So so this actually does have the legs, unlike the other where I just had a place to connect the legs. So so the legs, this is actually the point where it touches the ground, and so is this, and this, and this, and the ground would be like right there. So first off, you can see that, wow, this is really nice and flat. And look at that position per time. It, it's It's really nice and even so we're not gonna have a lot of legs pushing and pulling each other you got a little bit towards the edge but like you know that's towards the edge it doesn't really affect it, it it'll be fine is, is what I'm trying to say um, so I, ha I, I, I linked two of these together and we've got four legs per side on both sides so that's like a true spider um, that's you know not like the highest importance but it's kind of nice um, all right, so why don't I try to move this a little bit? Okay. All right, all right. Sometimes it gets a little bit screwed up, but it's seeming to work pretty nicely now. Here, I'll zoom out so you can see better. Okay, it didn't crash. All right, okay. Let's see. Spazzing out on me? Nope. Okay, wait. Good, good. Okay. So this is how it is. So it's an, on Inventor, it's a little bit shaky, but it should work really nicely in real life. Uh, oh, well, I lost it. Okay. There it is. Okay, well, you guys kind of see. You, you can rewind the video if you want to see it move again. Um, anyways, the legs move really nicely across this shape, and, you know, it's stable. Uh, I've got... These, this leg and this leg at the ground at one time, and this leg and this leg at the gr on the ground at the other time, so we don't have balance issues like with the ten-legged robot where you had the middle leg and the leg. It, it was just bad. It was a. It was just a recipe for tipping over. Um, otherwise, this one, you don't, this is the entire side, right? If you look at the other one, there was like dun 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 dun. dun. It was like five of those those uh, more complicated leg like, structure things and uh, it, it was just taking forever to build. This one does have more unique parts but has less parts overall so it should be easier to build. 
Um, this part, this triangular piece right here, by the way, is where it'll be connecting to the frame. Um, it's just a triangle piece right now, but it'll probably be like tubing or something. Um, yeah, so it's a really complicated linkage that I uh, did not invent and I did not refine in any way. I just used it. Um, all creds go to the guy who made this, Theo Jansen, Jansen, um, probably Theo Jansen, that's how you pronounce the name. Um, yeah, he's pretty cool. You should check him out. He's got a website at a strandbeast.com. Um, there's a clickable version in the blog. Uh, so yeah, way to go, Ben, for suggesting an awesome idea. And see you guys next time.